Hi, it's Jeff Salzenstein here, founder of Tennis Evolution. So excited to bring you this video today on singles strategy and what to focus on when you're playing points. And in this one, we're actually going to look at a backhand that breaks down. So you got to stay tuned for this entire point to see the backhand breakdown at the end. And these are two high-level players we're going to watch. And if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. We want you to support the channel, share it with others. If you could just share the channel with three other friends, that would go a long way. So we are going to watch now this first point. Great serve down the tee. Great lunge by the player to get the return back. Now, this ball right here can go anywhere. And I actually like that he goes he goes to the forehand corner because this play, player actually has a weaker forehand. So good shot selection there. Great defense over here. And look at the buggy whip. Look at the high finish here. Okay, look at the high finish. That's what you're going to see from great players. He goes cross court. And like, where is he going to go here? I think he should go cross court. He does because he's behind the baseline. No business going down the line there. He creates great angle here. Great defense with the slice to slow the point down. He backs up right here and plays a nice ball cross court. He lands at the service line, moves the opponent. Now he's stretched right here, plays great defense on, on the backhand. Now this is the backhand in question. Watch where it goes. Bottom of the net. Okay bottom of the net. Now maybe he just misjudged this ball, but I want you to see what he could have done better. So nice little shuffle out to the ball and he steps across. Now a lot of coaches are going to say this is a no-no, that you've got to get this leg behind the ball. That never worked for me when I played. I really, <clears throat> excuse me, I really struggled with this idea of getting this leg behind the ball. So stepping across is actually okay if you do this. And this has to do with footwork as well. So this backhand could really improve with better footwork. Now, look at his position here. Look how he's hunched over with his upper body. Now, watch what his back leg does. You see how it just kind of like, it comes around a little bit, but he's got a really narrow stance. I believe this is one reason that he struggled with the backhand. You've got to have better balance after you finish. So what I want to see here is when he's done, I want this leg to swing around and I want him to get into a wide base. So when he finishes, this leg should be way out here and he should be in a low base. So this is about footwork and about having a solid base on the backhand. And I really think because his balance was off, you see how bent over he is, and he doesn't swing the leg around enough, he's off balance throughout the entire shot and this caused a miss hit. So there were a lot of good things that happened in this point by both players with shot selection, but it was ultimately the execution of this player with his footwork and his balance that held him back. Now, if you want to improve your footwork on your forehand and your backhand, I've got a free gift. There are, there are footwork myths that players are making all around the world. I don't want you to fall for them. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video. We'll get you those footwork myths. We'll also get you solutions. This is really powerful stuff. It's absolutely free. We also want you to give us a thumbs up to support this video and the channel. Subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. Really enjoyed making this video. Again, click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to get those footwork myths. We don't want you to fall for them. All right, we'll see you at the next video. Thanks.